I'm 16 years old. I'm an innovator and I love innovating just because of the fact that we have endless problems and finding solutions to that is an endless game. I started innovating. Uh, I started working on projects when I was 11. Uh, I was frequently visiting my village uh, since I have relatives there. And seeing their problems is, is a huge pain. They are so used, the natives are so used to the problems. So my village has used to have uh, electricity timings only 12 hours a day. So if you have electricity in day times, uh, you, you need to uh, spend a terrible night. So you don't have electricity in night times. And the other problem that I faced was the water. So that is something, that are the two major problems that I found in my village uh, that are really, really terrible. So I think uh, working on that uh, is, is what my innovations are and I will tell you them in the coming slides. So I think uh, that's the introduction. And the second thing is uh, uh, my passion towards electromagnetism. It was my seventh grade uh, when my uncle given me a lecture on electromagnetism, which was really cool back then to me. So I started working out, uh, working out on electromagnetism since that was the only concept that I know back then. So I started uh, working on it. I made a small hand cranky device which generates electricity whenever you rotate a handle in my science fair. And then I, I was really uh, very enthusiastic to work on it uh, and make something useful out of it. And made some which are quite common like a device that, gener in that generates electricity whenever you pedal it. And a device something like I mentioned before a hand cranky device. And then it took me two years to make my very first model, uh, which was a device uh, uh, that brought me into my journey that I will be telling you uh, up in the next slide. So that is my passion uh, towards electromagnetism. And then uh, all of a sudden the, there was one day where I was very lucky to have a neighbor who have uh, sent me to have a visit to a wonderful building called Tea Hub because I was very badly trying for a platform to showcase all my ideas. I was just pitching my ideas to each and every one and I know that it is not the right way to work it out. But then I had no idea of, of how to showcase my products. And then it was T-Hub uh, that I, I was very clear that the only platform that I have is to showcase my idea was T-Hub. And then it was my neighbor who have sent me to do that. And then I've been to T-Hub. Unfortunately, I was refused to go inside just because of the fact that I had no formal invitation. I was I was really upset by that, but 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 then I was still trying really hard to get in. Even I have no formal invitation. I was standing outside. I was looking for people who can get me in. I saw a guy wearing a T-Hub tag should be helping me, and I went th went to him, asked him very curiously that I have this idea of, of a device and I think T-Hub is the only platform that I can uh, uh, showcase my ideas. And then uh, he was so kind to me and he gave me a contact of, uh, of a guy, of a T-Hub employee. And then I, I bugged him. I messaged him so many times, mailed him so many times, called him so many times, telling that I have an idea that actually have some scalability in my, in my thoughts and I want to get into T-Hub because it's the only platform that I can find to showcase my ideas. And then, it, a couple of days later, uh, fortunately, T-Hub was celebrating its very first anniversary. And I was I was allowed in. And even that, the, for that, there was a sol small story. I went to the venue where the T-Hub uh, was celebrating its first anniversary. I was asked to pay some amount that I was really not knowing about. So then I again called the employee and telling that these guys are asking me to pay some amount. And I think that is not the way it should because I had nothing, no idea about uh, paying something. And then he was kind to me. He gave me a free pass. And then that's how I got in. I think that is the uh, starting point of my journey uh, till today. So then I went in. I pitched uh, my idea to almost every folk I've seen there. And then I'm very fortunate that I'm very really glad that I've been funded by T-Hub uh, after my uh, uh, invention, very first and second inventions. So this is my very first invention. Uh, it is a device that sits on a regular ceiling fan. Uh, 
and generates electricity. So it's like having, like whenever you turn your ceiling fan on, it generates electricity. In night times, it generates electricity to light bed bulbs. And in day times, since you won't use bed bulbs, it charges a backup battery. So I have backup always. So just a quick recap. Uh, this device would solve the problem in my village of having very bad electricity hours. So that is that is something that I was really trying to figure out and had made use of my lecture of my uncle to at least solve a problem. And then it was my second device, which, which is an atmospheric water generator. So it is a device uh, which uses the atmospheric air we breathe and convert that into water. So it was really hard at beginning, so we scaled it up to this level that it has uh, a controller in it which adapts itself into the atmospheric conditions it's around and uh, tries to create the maximum water it could. So that's, that's about the uh, first and second uh, products. And then uh, I would like to tell the very crucial part that made me all do this is that my family. My brother was very good at academics, unlike me. So I used to be compared always with my brother right from the watchman till the principal, telling that you need to be studious as your brother and you need to be like a bit more uh, uh, punctual to school, unlike uh, you are now. So I was very bad student, like I was a naughty student. I used to be like not that good at acad academics. But I think it was my father who made, uh, who played a vital role in my journey because he was okay of me being uh, naughty, but also being good at, uh, not that good, but at least scoring decent amount of marks in my academics and working on something like this. I think the, the very most important piece of puzzle was my father in my journey because I know my friends who are like really good at building stuff, but the only piece of puzzle they're lacking is the support from their family. I think if I got that very quickly and, and in my early stages, so that that is the reason why I have completed my my puzzle uh, like like this now I, as how I am now uh, right now. That's about my family and all. And the next thing that I've learned is 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 has clearly bought me bought a change in me before and after knowing it. I think it's it was the it was knowing about my failures. Having a mind of uh, knowing failure is okay is almost having a backdoor to success is what is what I think. While I was I was prototyping, prototyping is, is, is something that is far away from the final product. So you need to make uh, changes in it, in it, in, uh, just to make it improve and improve. So uh, a product, so uh, innovation which is improving, keep on improving is known as prototype. So while prototyping, it's very, very common that you, you face failures, as I did. So the, there were many failures right from my first prototype to the second. Like it, it was, it was, I was expecting something on a pen and a, uh, on a paper, but while I build it practically, I, I used to face a lot of problems. I think that is something uh, that I was really upset for. I think uh, the only uh, thing that I did to manage that is that I, I didn't give up. I think that is something that, that made me at least stand today here and speak on my products. Uh, the very first product uh, wasn't really technically uh, viable. So then I've started my working on my second product, which, which is an atmospheric water generator, which I've said. And making that was also not that easy. I was expecting it to be. And it had took a lot many days than I thought it needs to be. So I think those are the failures that, that I have uh, uh, managed to uh, to tackle and all. It was it was I was clearly seeing that it was taking too long than I was than I, than the date I wrote in my diary. So uh, and again knowing that uh, without falling back, uh, working on it a bit more harder is what is what made me complete that project today is what I think. So that is a that is something that I want to really make a note of. Uh, Knowing failure is, is okay is, is something that everyone needs to adapt. Until and unless you have a wake up mind that, that says failure is okay. I think th if you have a mind which, which says failure is okay, it, it gets you a lot, it covers a lot more distance to reach success. So that is some things that I want to make a note of.
So, yeah.